Hello, this is Dantastic. Dantastic doing stuff. About to do some bike joring or dog pulling with my Ridgeback. We're going to do Dantastic doing stuff today, Ridgeback style. Got the bike, got the dog in the car. Already got her watered up. Beautiful day. Sun's up. Sky's beautiful. Clouds beautiful. Not too hot. Got a breeze. Perfect day for a dog to run. Thought I'd give Chili her chance to pull. Don't think she's quite ready. I don't even know if she knows what to do with that leash on her. Rosie comes over, try to give her some advice. I think it just need to go back to Rosie. As you can tell, she's ready. I said tight, she's tight. She learned that after, oh, my daughter worked for about a week. She's already good on it. So these Ridgebacks are extremely intelligent and easy to train, as long as you have the time and effort to put into them. All right, Rosie, pull. Always start slow, and then she'll pick up some speed. Good thing is, she knows this course pretty well, so she knows right where to go, look for the white path, and move with it. Good girl pull. That's a good girl. Staying tight. That was one of the issues when we first started pulling, even after just a little training I had with her throughout, I don't know, a few months here and there wasn't as consistent as I wanted to be but consistent enough to get her the ideas oh she smelled something there I did see a dog on the track before us maybe a dog peed there and she wanted to give a little sniff I'm not pedaling she's pulling she's doing real good I'm gonna be honest with you I knew the Ridgebacks were smart uh, everyone says they're hard to train they're difficult because they're strong-minded because they're made to hunt down animals and think independently but i'm i've been very pleased with her very pleased with how she's done uh i'd say you want a dog to train to have fun with this is the type to do it you have the time and ability to spend them with her you're gonna have a lifetime friend she's starting to fatigue we've already gone over a mile like I told you, she's one year old. She's starting to get her endurance. I probably don't do it as much uh, exercise running, pulling with her as I should. If I would want her to be able to run the whole way. But this is definitely improvement. If you guys have a Rhodesian or know someone who has a Rhodesian and they use them to pull, put in the comments below for me. I've never seen this. I looked on YouTube. I looked on Google, I haven't seen any other Rhodesians pulling and I know I'm not the only one. There's got to be quite a few others out there. Maybe especially in Europe and Africa and parts where they're more common, more common breed. Right now I'm catching up to her because we're going downhill. Come on girl, go, go, go. There we go, she picked it up a little bit. Yeah, if you like to watch Rhodesians pull, Give me a thumbs up as well. Right now she's seeing some dogs in the dog park over there. She's got her hunting hunting ears and she's starting to lower those shoulders. Leave it. Good girl. Good girl, leave it. Good girl. If anyone has a Rhodesian, you know when they start to lower that head, put those shoulders down, you know you're in for it because they're about to pounce on you. It's a different path. We haven't been on this path yet. She's exploring all the new smells, seeing things that are different. We did just come across a snake back there. She wanted to do a little bit of chasing on that, but it went into tall grass pretty quick. But yeah, so I need to work on go now. Worked on tight. She's pretty decent with, oh, I caught up to her. That hill was bigger than I expected. She's pretty decent with uh, G and Ha. Well, you gotta go, it's a bigger hill. Picked up more speed than I thought I was going to. A little bit thicker rock here. Doesn't seem to hurt her feet. But as always, I'm going to check her feet for paws at the end. Rosie, I'm caught up with you. Go, go, go. Good exercise, good fun. Good time being with my dog. Well, I think Rosie had fun today. Here she is, jumping on me. I got on the ground. There's the ridge, ridgeback style. That's right. She was pulling. She knocked my hat crooked. Knocked it off a few times since I sat down here. Rosie, did you have a fun time today? Do you like pulling? 
Got me right in the face. Oh, there she goes. Very excited dog. Anyway, we had a good time. My hat's still crooked. Rosie, you crazy dog. Uh, where's your face, girl? Where's your face? They don't want to see me. We did uh, two laps again. I do think it's over a mile and a half. I'm pretty sure it's about two miles she ran. She drank all of her water. Where's the girl? There's a good girl. Uh, not much practice out here, and she's already doing pretty good. It's been, it's been, I don't know, like I said, maybe three weeks of being out here, and that wasn't really even in a row. That was scattered out. She's only one. She's doing a great job. If our next dog, who we're getting this weekend, can be like her, which none of them are all the same, I know that. There we go, that's better. None of them are all the same, I know that. If she can be like her, I might have a little dog polling team here. Uh, Rosie, did you have fun? Oh yeah, you have fun, that's a good girl. She still has energy. Probably should have taken her on one more lap, but she was neat, looking like she needed some water. Probably by the end of summer, she'll probably do three or four laps, no problem. Right now we're still working out these muscles and getting her strong, getting her ready. Like I said in the very first video, always check your dog's paws. After, make sure you're on a good enough surface that you're not hurting their feet. I'm checking hers right now. It's kind of a fun time, I get in the ground. She jumps on me, we wrestle around, I check her paws. It's good, good ending to our, our bike join for the day. Rosie girl. Rosie. Good girl. All right, Ridgeback style, bike Jordan, they can do it. All it takes a little bit of patience, a little bit of work. Have a nice day.